Good evening. Fox 5 is your local election headquarters, and we're on top of the latest in the race for the 80th Assembly District, which is the seat previously held by Lorena Gonzalez. Two Democrats and a Republican are running. Here are the latest results coming in to the Fox 5 newsroom. And as you can see, it's a fairly tight race to the two Democratic front runners. This was somewhat expected. San Diego City Councilman David Alvarez, former San Diego City Council uh, President Georgette Gomez, and the Republican Linkard Picard. And you can see that it is a tight race between the Democrats. This is a saturated Democratic district for the most, most part in the South Bay, contains the city of Chula Vista, which is the second largest city in our county. So this is going to affect a lot of the population uh, in the South Bay. The district covers not only Chula Vista, but National City and parts of San Diego. We have it laid out on the map for you tonight. So it could be a long night for some of those candidates. And breaking news, we've just learned that officials have just finished counting all of the ballots carried in by nine trucks. And this is a live look from the ballot counting room at the county registrar's office in Kearney Mesa, where it's not the usual activity that we're accustomed to seeing on election night, but this is a special election. Fox 5 has team coverage on the election night. Our Salvador Rivera is covering the Gomez campaign, and our Phil Blower explains how we got here and what comes next. But we begin with our Jamie Chambers. He is covering the Alvarez campaign and has how they're feeling tonight. Jamie. Hey, good evening, Kathleen. We were just hearing chants of David, David. The supporters are all here in uh, Barrio Logan celebrating what seems to be a narrow lead for David Alvarez right now, just working to uh, not necessarily win outright at 50%, but staying very active into the next round. And you can hear them starting to chant again. They're feeling very confident about this evening. Former council member David Alvarez was greeted by supporters to cheers as his campaign seems to have secured a place in the June 7th runoff election vying for the 80th district assembly seat. The voters really responded well to our positive message. Uh, you know, being in first place when at the beginning the Sacramento polls and the insider said I wouldn't even be, you know, in the top two is just great news. I feel really, uh, really great and people are excited and we had uh, great date today and I think it's going to turn out to be better. The Alvarez campaign was blitzed by negative ads, but Alvarez says he wanted to show his kids a positive campaign can get through. We decided to be positive the entire campaign to offer the voters a vision of what their Sacramento politicians and leaders can look like. And we kept to that uh, to the very end. Now Alvarez says he's focused on the June 7th runoff and urgent issues facing his community. San Diego and this district is hurting. Uh, the gas prices are impacting us. We need some relief now. So there's a lot of a sprint to the finish when it comes to the June 6 runoff. They're just fighting in that primary district to see how this will all shake out. But this campaign is just going to be one consistent motion from the special election all the way into that uh, June 7th secondary election. So you'll just see a lot of David Alvarez. You'll see him all over this area in the 80th district. That's the very latest from Barrio Logan, Jamie Chambers. Fox 5 News. All right, a lot of people predicted it would be a tight race, and Georgette Gomez was not one of them. She was confident, our thanks to Jamie Chambers, that she would win outright this evening and not have to face a runoff. Nevertheless, she is feeling pretty optimistic that she will be the next assembly person for California's 80th district. Fox 5 Salvador Rivera has been following the Gomez campaign all evening and is live in National City tonight with more on her reaction to the election results so far. Ciao. Kathleen, since about 7 o'clock, Georgia Gomez has been here at her campaign headquarters in National City, right on 24th Street. She's been here mingling with supporters. And while the numbers have not gone quite the way she was expecting, she is still very optimistic about beating David Alvarez in the runoff this June. I'm excited by all the support we earned in every part of South County. I have a strong feeling that numbers will get even stronger for our campaign. And make no mistake, in the runoff election, voters are going to have a stark choice before them between real change to make San Diego more affordable 
for working families. This is the community where I was born and raised. And it is the community I've always stood up for at Environmental Health Coalition and on San Diego City Council. I believe in our community because I believe that government can do good and should do good for our people. And that's why I'm doing this, because everybody here deserves a better place, a better community, a better job. Let's do this, right? Yeah. Now, earlier today, Gomez told us that she is physically tired from the grind of the campaign, but now there's no rest for the weary. She will just have to plow on through into June. We're live here in National City, Salvador Rivera, Fox 5 News.